Good morning. Well, I'm just here, still here at Port Gordon. I got here uh, yesterday afternoon. The weather was uh, really windy and I came up and sat with the seals. Got some nice photographs. And I tried to do a little bit of filming, but the, the wind was just horrendous. So uh, I didn't bother posting. It was only three minutes long. Uh, it's going to be the same with this one. If I just turn around, the seals are just literally down there. Let's go and uh, let's go and get a little bit closer to them. I don't want to get too close because they all start uh, diving into the sea. see them all lying down there. They're further along the beach as well. Can't really see but they are. I can see them. They've already spotted me. Uh, I can just see them just there. There's a lot of them in the sea as well. All you see is little heads dotted around. The sea's quite calm at the moment. Yesterday it was really choppy, really, really windy. And I couldn't really do any, I couldn't really talk. You could, when I played it back, I couldn't even hear myself talk. There's a small group just there. So some are just looking at me. You can just see uh, little black heads in the water where they've gone in. There's a larger group just there. Like I said, I don't want to go down because if you go too close, they all just get up and just go straight into the sea. Don't really, and I don't want to disturb them in their uh, environment, their habitat. Yeah, where I am now in uh, Port Gordon, it's quite a small community. Um, met some of the locals, just at some of the houses there, just behind me, right on the beach. I met some of the locals yesterday, and they were quite friendly. Uh, asked if I was staying tonight, last night, and I said, "Yeah, I'm staying." I was the only one there, and then another small sort of camper van turned up a couple of hours later. So, uh, it wasn't on my own, but uh, um, I've seen them out and about, but there's two of them in it. But I've just uh, left them alone. I've got three dogs with them. <laughs> anyway, each to their own. It's a lovely day. What a change today from yesterday. I mean, it was sunny, but the wind was just like really gusting. And you couldn't really, well, I did do a little bit of film, like I said earlier. But when I played it back last night, the wind was that loud. You couldn't even, you couldn't even hear me talking. You just see my mouth moving no. <laughs> and no words. So, oh, well, I'll give that one a miss. Oh, uh, yeah, I love the way you just see all their, just see their heads just sticking out of the sea, just getting a bit of fresh air. <laughs> it's just like they're floating there. Yeah, I'll turn the camera around. I'm I'm quite near uh, another small uh, colony of seals. go you can see the ones like I said in the sea just their heads sticking out just floating one thing I've noticed um, you do get the odd pairs they're very playful like these two
they're very sad faces when they're looking at you. It's like they're big droopy eyes and really, really sad. <laughs> There's quite a few out there in the sea. They just pop their heads up and down and When I first came to Port Garden yesterday, I I stopped over there. There was a French couple in their um, motorhome, but like I say, with the wind yesterday, it was just blowing around, blowing the van all over the place. So I decided to come into Port Garden, uh, where at least you had the protection of some of the houses around the car park. I'm going to leave it there and uh, you've seen enough of seals so uh, yeah I'm just going to go for a little walk back along the beach to so say it's nice <clears throat> today nice and I've got a jumper on this morning but it's not too cold actually I could get away with a t-shirt in fact <clears throat> before I go I'm just going to show you the little community garden areas just behind me here that uh, the locals have created this little project they do and it's open to visitors you can just come along walk around inside it's got all sorts tomatoes cucumbers so yeah and uh, camera fans literally just here behind me it's a little car park so let's go and have a look inside Got the harbour literally just there. And it's just a little guy that gives you uh, all the plants and animals in Port Gordon. There was a lady in this morning doing some work. I was watching her while I was in the van. Um, actually got a little sign on there saying they're closed but uh, oh I'll show you this it's got a little a little coffee table area just sat outside outside she's got a sign on there saying sorry we're closed but, uh, and I've got an open day on the 30th of September let's just have a quick look you got a visitor book just there just signed yesterday and you can see all your tomatoes I think take what you want you leave a donation they've got all their tools and pots watering cans let's have a little walk around all these tomatoes Sign there, it's got some cucumber down here, more tomatoes, and some sweet corn. A bit more sweet corn over here. That sign reads they normally get about two to three cobs. Plenty more tomatoes. <laughs> Can't complain, they're good for you. Some little bedding plants. American spinach, spinach America. I'm not much of a gardener, I haven't got green fingers at all. And you've got a little donation box just here. Yeah, it's all good, so you can just walk in, have a look around. Sign a visitor book. Let's have a little wander down here. I don't know what they got here. 
or spinach I can see yeah spinach got some leeks in this one and an iceberg lettuce some flowers over here some pots of flowers I know uh, some of my subscribers would love this. Uh, love to be here, working here. I say it's all community, it's all voluntary. They just come along and some beetroot. Yeah, they just come along whatever time of day and if you got some free spare time. This little shed here. can see some more tomatoes in here lots of tomatoes get a good crop of tomatoes that's for sure and it all goes all the way along over there as well just like a little allotment really got in here some pumpkins oh yeah look let's get that another one over here quite a big one I think that's just a little lock up shed see the camper van literally a stone's throw from the from the community garden nice little seating area just here nice sunny day Drove I drove down this lane yesterday, came round the back of those houses over here, and I thought, oh, where's the sat nav taken me? Don't you just love sat navs? They never take you in the right place. Another little seat here as well. Yeah, so what do you think of this then? Great little project, isn't it? And then go around here and you've literally got the car park just there a little small camper van or a little small motorhome if you like next to mine I love this little boat. It's right behind my, uh, right behind my van. Lady van, Lady Yan, three. We still see where they're not. Okay, let's go and have a little look over at the harbour. Nice thing that you get these small communities, they they got things like that where they know they're not gonna get damaged or vandalized. You know like if it was in bigger cities so yeah and it's open open all the time yeah you can just walk in any time the doors are always open 
Very nice indeed, very nice. Lovely here, lovely and quiet, peaceful. Spot the human being. <laughs> There's more seals than what there are people, I think. This all looks fairly new. Somebody, somebody out there on a little canoe, just there. Yeah, yesterday with the wind and all the sea was just like really lashing against the walls. And an hour later the tide went out and <laughs> it was all calm again. Amazing. further along down there is where the seals are. <clears throat> right over there in the distance is where I originally came. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's still a couple of uh, A-class motorhomes there. A French chap still there, I can see his vehicle. actually fishing that guy in that uh, canoe. He's got a little fishing rod. I oh, see a lot of them they do that. They go on a canoe and they have a little rod and just sit there <laughs> fishing while in the time away. Can't be bad eh? Well, that's the little harbour. Very small, very quaint, and very peaceful. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tour around uh, Port Gordon. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting back in the camper van again. Uh, just going to do myself some lunch. It's just coming up to midday. Uh, temperature today outside, just walked around in my T-shirt. I'll check my weather out. It's like 14 degrees. So, but it's it's a pleasant day. It's not raining. It's not windy. So I can't complain. So yeah, it's I've never been here at Port Gordon, as I, I think I said earlier. And it's a lovely little spot. Definitely come back. Um, yeah. So peace and quiet. Um, no hustle and bustle. Just you know, myself and a few others, a couple of locals and the seals and a few cormorants and seagulls. Can't be bad. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Well, anyway, have a good day and uh, enjoy the video, like I say. And uh, if you like it, give it the old thumbs up, leave a comment and uh, share the video if you like. Let your friends know. I'm trying to build the channel up as you know as much as I can and uh, so I've gained a few subscribers a few new subscribers which is always nice and uh, of course it's free to subscribe doesn't cost anything and uh, yeah so just keep uh, just keep watching for more content and uh, if I when I move on move around I intend to uh, be moving towards Inverness now uh, perhaps up to Wick and uh, Go around and do the 500 down the west coast of Scotland, around that area, you know, John O'Groats, Thurso, down around the other side, apparently, I believe it's really beautiful. I've never, ever been. 
even on my trucking days back in the day when I was younger, the furthest north I, I came here was Inverness. Uh, and uh, that was it, really. So, yeah, I've never been up past Inverness, never been to Wick or anywhere around there. So it's all new territory to me. So looking forward to that and uh, hopefully lots of videos and photographs. So keep watching. Like I said, give the old, hit the old subscribe and the old thumbs up and I'll catch you all again soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.